How does he bird? Welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we made our way all the way out here to the uh, Grand Tree Arena and took on Leon over here, who is the protector of the Cleaver. The Cleaver's in a frenzy and we can't quite take it on just yet. So now our goal is to fast travel all the way back to uh, the field on camp. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Yep, just like that, would you like to go to the field on this camp? Sounds good to me. That's gonna be very useful. I'm glad that's a thing now. And we should be able to cash in a bunch of experience from everything we did in the last episode. Good to see you, Zebra. And how's your research into Cleaver going? Swimmingly, I expect. Oh, is that so? Now that's quite the tidbit. So a serving of his favorite foods will normally make Cleaver quite agreeable, is that it? I need to mull this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. Wow, look at all these Pokemon we caught. Very interesting. So we caught 19 of them, 10 or more Pokemon in one report achieved, different Pokemon species caught. So like a bunch of stuff here, we get over $5,000 for that. That's gonna be really helpful. I think one of the first things I wanna invest in is more inventory slots, because that was an active issue. But as you can see, we have Zubat added. Uh, this Pokemon has only just been documented. Okay, so never mind, it's not actually on there yet. But we had to have had some added, right? Like Wormple? Like Sap and is abundant in the wild. Why it evolves into various different forms is unknown. One cannot tell from Wurmple's appearance which front, front form it will take when it evolves. Which one of them is Kaskun? We haven't seen the other one though. So it's sort of weird. We also have Cricketot, which has two forms. I do not see a difference though. When the trees take on new hues, more of these Pokemon appear. The tone they create by striking their antenna together resembles that of an, a, a marimba, a marimba, I'm not really sure, an instrument of foreign lands. Interesting. Down this way we have uh, Dartrex, of course, which is complete now already. Wow, that was fast, actually. Uh, regularly basks in sunlight to gather power, presumably due to the frigid climate. Nonetheless, the edges of the blade quills set into its wings are keen as ever. Gotcha. It looks like that's all the new entries. For now, we'll keep adding the stuff and hopefully things will go out. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna back out of there for now and, oh, look at that, we got to our second star, I think. Maybe? I don't know. It looked like it filled up the bar. Maybe we have to talk to somebody to activate that. Either way, we're back in the town. So according to the information you were able to learn from Irda and Leon of the Pearl Clan, were this, were, were this the normal course of events, that frenzied cleaver would be conned by a nice serving of his two favorite foods. I do wonder, is it possible that the aromas or some other components of these foods might combine in a way that could not only calm cleaver, but draw him back from his, this frenzy? But by your own report, even cleaver's warden, who looks after cleaver and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Hmm, give me a moment, if you would. I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. Gotcha. Well, I hope that goes well. He's really pondering. We're just hanging out in the background. Ooh. Eureka! We'll simply have to throw the food. You've quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Zebra? Might I suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? Uh, makes sense, I guess? Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our Pokemon, our, our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved foods into balls, then throw them to achieve the same calming effect but from afar. A brilliant idea if I do say so myself. As for what to call these yummy projectiles, well, what about tea time balls? Puts one in mind of a nice relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Why wouldn't you simply call them Laventon balls, Professor? Oh my, with that name, it sounds like I'm, I'm the one being launched at our frenzied friend. In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? Then you should get back to Grand Tree Arena and let the Pearl Clan know our plan. If we're off to Grand Tree Arena, best to set out from the Heights Camp, eh? 
I suppose so. Work with Leon and Irida to make a make tea time balls from Cleaver's favorite foods. If you're off the Grand Tree Arena, bust it off from the Grand. Yep. Okay. Uh, you can. Ex I can. You know, I can expect great things from you. Carry on the good fight out there. And it looks like we do have some new requests here on the blackboard. Uh, playing with Trifloon. It seems several people have spotted Trifloon playing with one of the village children. Mickey from the security corps can tell you more. Speak with her to get the bot to the bottom of this. Playing with Trifloon. So we will actually follow that one right now. There are another requests. Now let's go for it. I do want to check or in here. Is there any other requests needed of me? I don't think so. So we'll head out for now and also talk to you. Let's expand our inventory slots at least a couple more times. Teach me. So this time it'll be 300. So we'll do two more after this because it does get pretty expensive pretty fast. And that's all is to it. Yep. Teach me. This time it's 400. So we've already spent $700 on this. So I'll do one more, which will be 500, bringing us up to a total of 1,200. 1,200. Yep, okay. So we'll keep it like that. We're just over $6,000. I definitely need to use that money on other things. So for now, we're going. So we'll try to figure out that Drifloon thing for now, which is right down this way. We also have some new berries and stuff, and the nab berries are new. So maybe we'll take a look at our inventory a bit. We're just heading down Canal Avenue. I guess we're talking to you. Hello. This is Mickey. So you've accepted my request to look into the Drifloon? I can, can't tell you what a big help that is. Let me fill you in. We'd heard reports that a Drifloon was playing with one of the village children over a pre prelude beach on Prelude Beach in the evenings. This seemed like an odd behavior for Pokemon, so all of us in the security court worried its true intentions were to harm that child in some way. Thankfully, all the village children were safe and accounted for when we went to check on them. But there was one curious thing. None of them seemed to know anything about a Drifloon. But, well, so many people from the village have reported seeing the Pokemon. We can't simply pretend there isn't an issue here. Since this calls for some investigation, I thought the Survey Corps would be our best bet. We need you to find the truth behind the Drifloon and the child it's been playing with. Investigate the Drifloon playing with the child at Prelude Beach in the evening. Okay, well it's not currently the evening, so I might just wait for that some other time, but uh, good to keep in mind. So we have other missions going on. For right now though, I think we'll just sort of keep it the main one, unless there's something I could do more easily. Like the Pakeshi doll, I still need more wood. Um, we don't have Cherim yet. Oh, we do have Cricketon. So where's that at? I think it's out that way at the front gate. What other missions do we have? Uh, is there more than one with Cherim? Oh, the mushrooms, the springy mushrooms. I don't know if we have any right now, actually. Uh, huh. and then Bothersome Bidoof. Where is that one? That one's over that way. Okay. So this one we can also do pretty quickly, I'm pretty sure, because I think it was just to catch a Bidoof or complete the Pokedex entry, which maybe we haven't done that one. <laughs> For whatever reason, Bidoof has been a tough one to complete. Almost there. Just trying to run over. Those darn Bidoof. I hear you caught three different species of Pokemon in your trial. That's no mean feat. I have a job that's perfect for a high achiever like you. See, I need help researching. Ah, oh, it's those pesky Bidoof again. Oh no. Running around town. <laughs> They're so cute. I look away for one second and, I'll, and the little scoundrels watch right into the village. Oh, this is awful. I'm a complete failure as a member of the security corps. How can I ca face Captain Zisu like this? No, get a hold of yourself, Sumigi. Just catch the Bidoof and everything will be fine. But still, three Bidoof is a lot. Two more than I think I can handle on my own, in fact. Oh, I have an idea. I've heard that these particular pests get easily distracted if other Bidoofs are nearby and end up letting their guard down around other around humans. 
So if you bring a Bidoof to draw their attention, I can seize that chance to catch the little troublemakers. Voila, the perfect plan. If we combine forces, we'll get all three caught in no time at all. Okay, so first things first, we need to find where each of those pesky Bidoofs waddle to. Remember, they should let their guard down as long as you have another Bidoof with you. Well, I do have one, as you can see. So we need to run around town and look for the Bidoof. Or maybe I just talked to her with the Bidoof out. Okay, let me just run around for a little bit and see if I can't find some. Oh wait, or am I talking to you? <laughs> Sorry. My, my, that Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The Galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters, not given that. Oh, yes, I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on now. Let's head to, what did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? Oh, okay, sorry, good luck with your Bidoofs. I'll come back later. <laughs> sorry. Uh, but yeah, I guess we're going out for this now. Oh wow, it's so weird here again. Whoa. I spoke to Weirder about what's been going on. I told him how you've been trekking all over the field land seeking a way to quell Cleaver's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the Pearl Clan. Just some wanderer who fell, off, th fell through a rift into this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Weird ears found you worthy, you see. Which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for him, I? This is very important, so listen well. Whoa. And it plays the same little tune from the opening of Diamond and Pearl. It's so cool how these games are linked. That's a Celestica flute that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call in Weirder so you can ride upon him. It said that Celest the Celestica flutes were gifts from Almighty Sinnoh itself, and now this one's yours. Wow, okay, very kind. Celestica Flute, a flute that can be used to call special Pokemon that are willing to bear you around the region. Its timber is eerie and mysterious. It's not that grand gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See if you can play the melody. Sure. Not much of a musician myself, but here we go. Nice. Weirder opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. You received the mind plate from Weirder, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of psychic energy. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the psychic type. What? It can become a psychic type Pokemon? Now, use that Celestica Flute wisely and gallop across the land with a great weirder. You've got a frenzied Pokemon to quell Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With Weirder, you can gallop across the field lands in no time. Wait, so we get to ride Weirder? You can now call Weirder and gallop across the land. Press the plus button to summon a Pokemon to ride on. Be sure to stay alert for wild Pokemon attacks and avoid falls from high places while you're riding about. Wow, that's so cool. Whoa, <laughs> look at us. That is really cool. And it looks like somebody over here needs your help. Come on, take out my adorable balloons. Your Pokemon balloon race. <laughs> nice to meet you, you young survey core recruit. I hear you have the rare ability to dash over hill and vale on the back of a Pokemon, yes? Well, why not try your hand at the balloon race? It's a game I invented myself. It's simple, really. You just need to burst as many of my adorable balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. If you manage to burst, say, 17 balloons, well, that'd be an impressive start. You can find me here anytime, so let me know if you feel like testing your skill in the balloon race. Balloon race in the field lands. Sure. For 17 balloons within the time limit for the balloon race in the Obsidian Fieldlands. 
Ride a Pokemon and smash your balloons. Ride, 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 and burst them all. If you manage to burst, say, 17 balloons, well, that'd be an impressive start. How about a kid wanna play? I'll give it a try. There are a total of 30 balloons on the course. Let's see how many of them you can burst in 45 seconds. Now get out there and get bursting. Okay, let's try it then. Whoa, so the little drift balloon balloons. Okay, so we can jump and we can dash. This is cool. So more or less, it's like a little obstacle course. Just gotta do my best to hit them. Don't hit the Pokemon though, we gotta jump for this. Whoa, we get some height on that jump as well. Oh my, okay, I missed one, but I don't need to hit them all. I just need to hit 17 apparently, so. Okay, oh, going this way. Then jump for that, almost jumped clear over it. Weird air can really move. This is so much fun. So this will make getting through stuff a lot faster. I don't know what happens if I run into a Pokemon, so I'm trying to avoid that for now. Oh, time is getting lower, 26, 27. Are we really gonna all hit all of them except for that one? I guess so. That's it. So I guess I should've taken my time with that one. Oh well. Welcome back, you burst 29 balloons. You're so close to bursting them all. A little reward should help you keep motivated. You obtained a bag of Stardust. And what do you know? You beat my target of bursting at least 17 balloons. Well done, you. Balloon race in the field lands complete. So get a rare candy and a feather, 15 feather balls. You can take part in balloon races in other places as well. This race is the easiest of the lot. Let's see if it has what it takes to challenge them all and raise your skills to the next level. I do want to see if I can't hit them all then. So I might try it one more time and see if we can't hit all 30 of them. See if that gets us any kind of reward. All right, I got all 30 of them this time. It did take me a couple of tries, but we got through it. Only had a second to spare there too. Welcome back, you burst 30 balloons. P perfection, you popped every single balloon. You're definitely a balloon bursting boss, that's for sure. And that means you deserve something special to mark the occasion. You obtained a nugget. A nugget of the purest gold that gives off a lustrous gleam in direct light. It can be sold at a price for, at a high price to the general store. I want to obtain another rare candy. Candy that's packed with energy. One consumed it would instantly ri raise the level of a single Pokemon by one. So I definitely want to save those for much later. But yeah, very, very exciting. Let's definitely put some of that stuff away. For right now, we'll go ahead and move that stuff in the storage. No, both of them. And same thing with the gold nugget and the stardust. What about these, these feather balls? A ball that flies fast and true. Ideal for catching nimble Pokemon or Pokemon that fly high in the air. Okay, so that's good. Let's, uh keep that. What's weird is that normal, oh no, never mind. I was guessing normal Pokeballs aren't in here, but they are. Okay, so with that being said, I think I'm good for now. Let's take a look at what's going on. Uh, for my main mission, the Frenzy of the Lord of the Woods, work with Leon and Irida to make tea time balls. So we gotta get back to them. But now that we've been able to ride around with Weirdo, that's always very nice. The only thing is I can't fast travel back there. I see that the problem. Okay, so we'll run over like this and that should certainly help. And now we're more familiar than ever. Oh my gosh, okay, no, watch out. You're gonna be really careful about jumping off ledges apparently. But that sort of hurt. I don't know what concerns we should be having here. Will Weirdier stop letting us ride on him if we take too much of a beating? I'm not really sure. I do see. You over here, and you don't seem to have seen me. Okay, so taking damage when riding Weirdo seems to do damage to us. I might just toss that at ya. That's making you run away. Oh darn. But I actually got the Cricket Todd instead. I guess I'll try to catch you. What I really want is that right there. How did, they did dunked on him, but it didn't. Weird, okay, whatever. Okay, get back to riding then. I might as well like, catch some stuff like that while I had the chance. But this is definitely a lot more productive overall. Oh. And I, oh, I still need a Pokemon to help me with some stuff like that. Okay. 
I wonder if that Alpha Bibarel is gonna be back. It is. So I guess some Pokemon do routinely spawn in some spots like that that are even alphas. So I'll try to, you know, keep that in mind. But if we do miss our chance to collect it, we might have another chance later on. But there's just so much stuff to get everywhere. I'm trying my best to make the most of that. Got some stuff here. Get my Pokemon over that way. Keep running. Pretty good. Now I do see you. What I'm curious about. Do I have you? Oh yeah, I already. Okay. So never, never mind. You're fine, Warple. I do see Psyduck, and Psyduck is one of the ones that I actually do need more for Pokedex entries. Hoping Psyduck turns around. Oh, right there? No. Psyduck is very aware, I've noticed. Everything happens, Psyduck is on top of it. Hmm, might just have to fight him. Go with if I leave. I won't mess with ya. Cross door, it's still following me. Psyduck is apparently a duck, but has eyes like a hawk. Yeah, it will just follow you forever. Okay, whatever. No, I missed. There you go. Maybe that'll be enough. Oh, it will be, surprisingly enough. All right, I need to catch one more. I guess what's right over here. What if I threw one of those at you? You don't seem to care very much. Maybe that's good enough. Gotcha. All right, there's another one caught. So if I check real fast. For Psyduck. Three, okay. Oh, I missed. Ah, oh, they ran away, darn. It's okay. We'll switch over. I do need to craft more Pokeballs soon. The news is that we have a lot of stuff for that, so I think we'll be fine. See, now this side up, nope, it sees me. That's crazy. Oh, I missed. Not what I wanted. But maybe just a straight on catch is enough. It was last time. And it was this time as well. Awesome. And we got a move mastered? Hold on. I haven't seen that yet. What's going on with Luxio? Summary. It said move mastered. I don't know which move or what that does. Oh, maybe it means, yeah, now the bite has uh, the agile and power, whatever it's called. Uh, but over this way, we'll talk to these two again. We got Leon. So say that you galaxy people came up with a method to try to quell Lord Cleaver's frenzy? What? You'll mash up Cleaver's favorite foods into balls and so you can throw offerings at him? That's quite an unorthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inv inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleaver with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't forget, get ahead of yourself. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I've brought them as promised. God, that's right, my apologies, Yerda. Totally, I'd, I'd forgotten all about you. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These galaxy team people don't share our customs or our values. So prove to me you are worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by you may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs. But on my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister, as one of my blood. If you can defeat Glaceon and me, I won't trust you with Cleaver's fate. Will you battle us? Yes, I will. So we're about to see a Glaceon. 
that allow Glaceon's true strength to chill you to your depths. Okay then. Wow. So I think Glaceon's ice type, which I'm a little concerned about. But we'll do what we can. I think flying is good against ice. Uh, so water certainly isn't. So I think we should go to Pokemon and switch over to Dartrex for now. I mean, at least it's effective. Or maybe I'm getting it mixed up. Maybe ice is good against flying, uh-oh. And maybe water is good against ice. I don't know. Yeah, okay, that was a huge mistake. <laughs> I guess I got a flipped. Okay, back to Bleasel then. Sorry, Dartrex, you won't get any experience this time. That's okay, we do have our candies and stuff that I'm sure I'll be saving for Dartrex regardless. Either way, let's fight with this then. We'll just do strong style Aqua Jet and see where it gets us. We're matched in levels with Glaceon. Come on. Ooh. That actually wasn't that good. <laughs> I mean, they looked powerful. But it wasn't super effective. Wow, they attacked twice. Okay, Glaceon is super powerful. What am I gonna do here? Uh, roll it is super effective from Poodoof. Let's try that out then. Might be our best bet. Problem is, level advantage. Glaceon's gonna use Swift here, and that does a good number. We're just gonna try our strong style rollout and see if maybe we can just get a quick takedown. Oh, good, but not quite good enough. Please don't take up a doof. Yikes, critical hit. That's gonna take Bidoof down. I think we'll just use a revive and then go for Bidoof again. And either that, or we can hope that Luxio can get the job done. Strong style Thundershock. Oh, wait, no, I did Agile. Whoops. You sort of swap between them. I don't mean to do that too much, but maybe this is enough. Almost. Uh, now let's do a normal one. There we go. That's how you can use Agile to your advantage. Battle decided. And we do get a level for Bleasel and for uh, Dust Socks, pretty exciting. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better by putting by putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see to your Pokemon's wounds. Thank you, they really needed that. Now, explain the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleaver's favorite foods together, ball them up, and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him? Interesting, so you've developed soothing bombs of sorts to calm our Lord. Very well, if it'll help soothe Cleaver's frenzy, let's make these bombs with our very hearts and souls. All right, I guess we're doing that now. Oh, nice. There, a veritable man mountain of bombs. This should please Cleaver, if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. I'm ready. As am I. Okay, let's go for it then. Well, the sky is jittering in the background. Oh, mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Though it isn't yet the time of ceremony, We've prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent lords who work his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude. And beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Zebra, keep your focus on Cleaver. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves and as you're throwing the bombs. Oh no. Whoa, is that it? Oh my gosh, it's so fast. Whoa. It looks as hot as the sun, Lord of the Woods, Cleaver. This thing means business. 
battling Pokemon Nobles. To claim victory against a noble Pokemon and quell its frenzy, you'll have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening in the noble's defenses, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle and the noble's guard will stay down for a brief time. During that window, bombs will be more effective than usual, so throw as many as you can. Okay, let's go for it then. So I'll throw that one now, I guess. Oh, I'm scared, ah! Okay, I dodged it. Oh, send a Pokemon into battle. All right, Bleasel, let's see how Bleasel does. I don't know what typing this Pokemon is. Uh, here's your chance, show Cleaver your power. Uh, oh my gosh, poor Bleasel. Uh, fight, let's try strong style Aqua Jet. Go for it, come on. How much that does? Ooh, a good amount actually. Air slash. But Boizel avoided it. Come on, Boizel. Fight. Strong style. Go. One more. All right, there we go. We brought his guard down. Now's your chance to throw some more. All right, go. So we're gonna lower its health more and more. This is crazy. Come on. There we go. Got it for the first quarter. Oh my. Get ready to dodge. Yeah, when its eye sort of glimmers like that, that's when you need to move out of the way. What is he doing? Okay, he's just running in place right now. Send in a Pokemon. Okay, who are we gonna send in this time? I think we'll send in Dartrex. See how that goes. Oh, wait, am I too late? I think it might be too late. Whoa, my gosh. Okay, uh, am I doing the right thing? I'm a little confused. Jeez. Okay, send in Pokemon. There you go. Let's try this again. Use your chance, show Cleaver your power. Stealth Rock is gonna hurt a good amount. Jacket Splinters hurt Dartrex. Let's do uh, the Gust. Like, yeah, is there a typing advantage? I don't know. We're gonna try this, we'll see how it goes. Uh, not too much. Hurt by the Jacket Splinters. Air Slash again on Dartrex, yikes. Okay, that's not so good. Are we sitting on another Pokemon now? Yes, we are. Okay, we'll try Luxia. Okay, and this time, we'll do Thundershock. Come on. Once again, still not hitting as much as Bleasel's did. Double hit. Hard hitting Sands and Stealth Rock. Wow. And once again, the same issue here, we are going to try maybe just strong style bite. Might be a better move. Definitely hurt it a little bit more, but those jagged splinters are making this look really bad for Luxio. I need some items. Wow, this is getting really tough really fast. I think that Weasel might be our best bet, but I want to save it for later. For right now, let's just do Bidoof. Come on, Bidoof, you can do it. Just finish it out with a rollout. Got it. Come on. Nice. And it's super effective. Okay, that's good to keep in mind. Now's your chance to throw some bombs. Okay, I'm doing it. There we go. Oh, almost, come on, it's so low. Oh, okay, come on. Oh, I think we got it. One more, there we go. Whoa. I think we calmed that. I guess we did. It's very unfortunate we couldn't get experience for other Pokemon, but I guess it is what it is. Received the insect plate from Cleavor. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of bugs. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the bug type. Thank you. What happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. Has Lord Cleaver frenzied mind truly been put to ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? 
Maybe. Well, this is what I think, after all we've seen. We know strange lightning came from out of the space-time rift the other, the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him into his frenzy after all. The lightning came from the, the space-time rift? But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond the space-time rift, then the strange lightning, it indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power? Then were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool, outrageous. Calm yourself, Leanne. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power sent by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Zebra accomplished just now, it needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Hmm, yes, fine. I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier and a token of my thanks. You obtain three citrus berries. A berry that can be fed to a Pokemon to restore its HP by up to half its max. You can also throw this berry near wild Pokemon to draw their attention. I'll make care for your Pokemon as well in appreciation for f fighting on our behalf. Thank you. I think I've finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky, though I still can't imagine for the reasons at play. And it seems we've settled things here, though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong after all. I mean, I don't know, I think that might just be you. <laughs> So next up, we have the report to Com Commander Kamado that you have accomplished your mission. And like I said, we need to use that, what we learned here in other situations, uh, especially since the Diamond Clan has confirmed that they also have a Pokemon that has had a similar effect happen to them. So that won't be the last time we experience that. I'm about to head out. I just wanted to uh, maybe grab a couple of extra things if I can. There we go. Over this way as well. But I also wanted to check my Pokedex. I'm pretty sure we're about ready to evolve Bidoof. Um, let's see for ourselves. Bidoof should be, okay, hold on. Chronologically, Bidoof, seven. So I guess not. I still haven't gotten any more points for it. Bidoof is apparently very difficult. Uh, maybe what I should do is I should just go back to one of the more beginning areas, way back here, and just catch them real quick. That might be the fastest way to get this done. Um, Cause I would like to evolve it. What's weird is evolving it is not one of the benefits. I think one of these, you wanted mushrooms, right? You've you've completed Cricket House Pokedex page? Great, quickly now, let me have a look. So you are not the mushroom person. Oh, so Cricket House produced that curious sound of theirs by hitting the antenna together. Hmm. I wonder if Anvin from the Supply Corps could put together an instrument with a similar shape to those antenna. Well, for now, thanks for going out of your way to solve this tonal enigma. Here, take these. Timber of the fields complete. We got three Vivichoke. To complete a Pokemon's page in your Pokedex, you need to catch and battle that species over and over, right? Gosh, you're such a hard worker. Thank you. Self-sufficiency is the word in Jubilee Village. What we lack, we can only make a, make for ourselves. So which one of these, I'm pretty sure one of these people wanted a mushroom. Maybe not though. Oh, now that's a nice springy mushroom if I've ever did, did see one. I'm glad you chose, I chose you for my request. You've got what it takes to be a fine mushroom forager. By the by, did you notice, know that Springy mushrooms like this one multiply in no time. That's why you'll find them all over the obsidian field lands. And they're versatile too. Fry them, stew them, they'll taste great either way. But I digress. Let's get to teaching you my recipe. And I'll just use that handy workbench over there. Awesome. 
And there, here you have it, Delectable Mushroom Cake, beloved by Pokemon far and wide. Just throw one at a wild Pokemon, and if it's partial to a nice mushroom snack, you can bet your bottom toadstool will go after the cake lore. You can use that, that opening to make your gateway, or getaway, or of course, try to catch a Pokemon. Here, I'll give you some of my own cake lore bases so that you can craft them right away. Thank you very much. You team five balls of cake lore base. I'll get out there and throw a generous, no gratuitous number of mushroom cakes to Lord Pokemon left, right, and center, you hear? I'm counting on you to make my recipe famous. Mushroom cake marketing complete. I'll get the mushroom cake recipe. Make sure folks see you using that mushroom recipe I gave you. Spread the good word, yeah? All right then, very cool. Thank you, Moral. So we're supposed to go back to camp now, I believe. Uh, so, but I need to catch the Bidoof. So, a couple of things I gotta do. Let's just focus on the Bidoof for now. We can charge over there real fast, and there's one right there. Let's see if I can't just get a quick catch on it. Uh, let's, let's try that again. There you go. Come on. Got it. Okay, if I can catch one more, that'll already be eight points. Ah, not quite, but there is another one. Or I could just go for this one again. Got it. Okay, so that's already gonna be an extra point or two. Now for you. See, why is it sometimes I can see them by just looking at them? Sometimes I can't, it's so weird. Either way, that'll be eight points there. We haven't caught any heavy specimen, but if we defeat one more, that's another point. And then we know we can evolve and that'll be another point. Okay, so let's just defeat you real quick. Then we will evolve our current B Bidoof and then we should be good. All right, Bidoof's keeping his guard up. That's fine with me. One hit should be enough to take you down because you're level two. Really? There's so much tougher in this game. Battling is just a lot different in some ways. And usually it doesn't matter if it's a level 18 versus level two, you're gonna get a one hit takedown, but not anymore. It's not how the game, this game works really. Okay, so let's go ahead and evolve our Bidoof into a bit barrel then, and that should be enough to complete the Pokedex page for Bidoof itself. So let's get into it, another evolution. There we go. Congratulations, your Bidoof evolved into Bibberl. Bibberl got the idea for a new move. Very nice. So there we have it. There's a couple of things I do need to figure out about our current Pokemon so I can find out if I should have them in my party or not, or if I should get some other Pokemon and start evolving them. But I'll figure it out. For right now, that should be Bidoof completed, and we will run back home, or dive back home. Um, I guess we'll talk to uh, the Professor Lamenton. So you've caught five Pokemon. Can you report your findings? Yes. So there you go, five Pokemon caught, three Psyduck, two Bidoof. You get 756 for it. Oh, it seems you've made some new observations. Let's take a look then. Mm-hmm, I see, most illuminating. I'll update the po our Pokedex with this new data. So as you can see, uh, Bidoof has now been added. Uh, Bidoof has an unsophisticated face and is rarely flustered by anything. There have been incidents involving Bidoof sauntering into villages and gnawing on the houses without a single care. <laughs> okay, well, at least they're adorable. And they also have two forms, but they don't look any different once again. Um, Weasel. Uh, yeah, we've already read this one. So, like, that's sort of the weird thing. It orders them chronologically, but not in the chronology that they were added, if that makes sense. Uh, by the way, Bibberell's already pretty close as well. I guess this is the, these are the only updated entries, so it sort of makes sense. Did I read this one? I don't know. Regu regularly basked in sunlight to gather power, presumably due to the frigid climate. Nonetheless, the edges of its blade quills set into... Its wings are as keen as ever. Very cool. Didn't feel like I did very much to get this one to level 10 very quickly, but I think that maybe it moves on from the original. Like, I don't know. Go to Bibberall. Look, I've not caught three Bibberall, have I? No, I have though. So it's weird, I don't know. I guess just because I saw a battle so much, that really does add to it very quickly. I'm not really sure, it is a bit weird, but for right now we're good to move forward, and as I can tell, I don't need any more points to get to the next rank, so what do I need to do to get to the next rank? 
Carried out some fine work. I believe you're ready to move up to the next rank. Best report to Captain Silena. I'd get right on that if I were you. Hmm? You quelled Lord Cleaver, you say? Oh, well done and bravo, my boy. Time to head back to the village and report to Commander Kamado. So we've got lots of people to talk to. Sounds good. Oh, hey, it's, uh, I forget his name already, Volo. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have called the Lord Pokemon. And what do you have there? Could it be? Ah, those are two of the fabled plates of old. Please, let me have a look. So the psychic and the grass one, or the bug one. I see there are some letters carved into them. Let's see, this one says, where all creation was born, that is the being of pla being's place of origin. It seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. How did you come across these? I see, so you were given the plates when you impressed Weirder and Cleavor? That is quite something, indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess that you will find more plates like these scattered across the suite. If we were to gather them all and decipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past, oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. Oh, well, that's exciting. We'll definitely have to keep collecting those on. Right now, though, even though there's lots of people to talk to, I don't want to focus on that too much. I want to focus on the main mission. Since we've already gotten a lot of side stuff done in today's episode, we'd rather focus on our main thing. Oh, hello. It's amazing that Captain Slyline has acknowledged your potential. Thank you. Our investigation for the commander will grind to a halt if you become incapacitated, inca recruit. I should like to avoid that outcome. I imagine you would as well, since it would mean losing the food and shelter we provide for you. If you have progress to report, I'll judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. So we should be good enough to get our second star member now, right? Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you've earned yourself a star. Nice, so we are now star rank two. All right, well, eight more to go. With this, you have officially attained the rank of second star in the Gal Gal Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use Feather Balls. Pokemon of up to level 30 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn from your survey reports will be more generous now too. Have these as well. They've, there are further recipes you need for crafting. Okay, we got the crafting recipe for Feather Balls. One Apricorn and one Sky Tumblestone, and then the recipe for crafting super potions, one potion and one pepper plant. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. Will do, thank you. Is there anything new on the blackboard? Nope. All right then, so we'll run upstairs and talk to uh, Commander Commodo then. And hopefully we can figure some more stuff out with that. Very exciting. Let's see right up here. Hello, Commander. Hmm, well done. I have already received the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Cleaver's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to his wee's people. You are a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky, yet you have served the galaxy team admirably. I admit, you have earned yourself some degree of recognition, but things are not settled yet. I received word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere in his wee. To carry on with your research and survey duties and prove that you are truly an asset to us. That is all, you're dismissed. Your fellow Survey Corps members are likely at the Wallflower. Go and join them. The frenzy of the Lord of the Woods complete. Okay, so I guess we're gonna head over, get some potato mochi or something good. Betty old chum, the usual order, three servings of potato mochi please. No, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. Whole village is gossiping up a storm about our young friend here, you know. He's got quite some luck to have come back unharmed after facing off against that cleaver. 
I dare say Zebra was well prepared. And he was quick study of how Cleaver moved in battle, from what I heard. All in all, it was a very good show, a victory well earned. We can feel safer about our Survey Corps duties now, thanks to your efforts. Oh, by the way, why not try crafting some of these? I made the recipe based on directions Benny gave me. You obtain a recipe for crafting smoke bombs. One caster fern leaf and one soot food fruit. Lovely. And now that we need not worry about being mauled by Cleaver either, let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon that call the Obsidian Fieldlands our home. Sounds like a good plan. Oh, the Bidoof are still out. I need to go and catch, huh? Zebra. Who is this? Vessa. I've been waiting for you, Zebra. My name is Vessa. There's something real important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? Sure. Um, this is kind of secret, but something terrible has happened. Hisui is in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has come, and un come undone and the seal's broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate. So please, Zebra, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. Just tell me what to do. Oh, thank you. I'm happy you believe in me. I just knew you'd be willing to help. The, this odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. You obtained an odd keystone. A mysterious stone that can be used to collect wisps that glow with an eerie purple light. I wonder how they know all this, though. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across the sea. A hundred and even, and seven of them in total. With the odd keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. See, the wisps are normally invisible, but not to the holder of the odd keystone. Oh, are these like Korok seeds in Breath of the Wild where there's gonna be a million of them to find? <laughs> I know it's a huge task, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? Oh, see that flame hovering over there? Try touching it. Okay, so. Maybe don't wanna run across the lake. We can stay dry, use the bridge. So only we can see this purple flame because we're holding this keystone. And there we go. Now only 106 left to find. The wisp has been absorbed into the odd keystone just as it should have been. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining wisps. And one last thing, as you gather more and more wisps, I'll give you some rewards as thanks. I'll wait here for you while you carry out your, your search. Good luck. Request 22 eerie apparitions in the night. So they only appear during nighttime then. Is that the idea too? I don't know if they mentioned that. The next day. All right, we're back out. I still see that Badoof over there on the left. <laughs> Gotta catch you, so. Wow, the Galaxy Team hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge. Uh, hello. Oh, hey, you're Zebra, the boy who quelled Cleaver, aren't you? Uh, that's me. I knew it. You've got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quelled one of the Almighty of Snow's chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. I'm Arazu, by the way. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Real nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Oh, snap. But I came here to talk to you, to your Mr. Kamado. See you around. Arazu's predicament. So I guess we'll have to follow up with them, see what's going on. That'll definitely be safe for next episode. And whoa, 
Looks like we even have a little vendor up here. Rare Rare is only the best here. Might also catch up with that next episode. There is a lot of stuff that people need all over the place. The one thing I don't want to forget is you. <laughs> Doof. Get the little badoof. Chomp chomp. Okay, just catch it real fast. Oh, and it's just gonna run. But I have my badoof. Do I throw it? Darn, it got away. Let's wait a while, then go search for it again. Just make sure you have your badoof with you, and those pets won't stay as. Stay. Okay. So what I just. Throw it? I guess that's the idea. Okay, so. I'll, well, that's my bibberol. Maybe I don't have my badoof with me anymore. Okay, because I evolved it. Now we know. So I think I'll save all that for later then. Uh, there's a lot to do around here. We'll, we'll focus on that next episode. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.